Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install the latest version of Angular that is Angular 15 on a Windows operating system. And then I am also going to show you how to create a simple Angular project and how to run them on our browser. Ok, so I am going to show you whatever you need as an Angular beginner. So you know do watch the video till the end. If you have any issues, please do comment in the comment sections. I am always there to help you. Right. So without any delay, let's start our video. Now to install Angular on your Windows operating system, you'll need basically Node.js. That is very important. So for that, just simply go to favorite browser and just simply search over here Node.js download and just simply hit enter. And here you need to click on this download Node.js. I'm going to put all this link in the description. So no need to worry. So here you can see our LTS that is long term version for Node.js is rightly available for Windows. And if you are into Mac OS, Linux or any other operating system, you need to click on this link. For Windows 64 bit, I am going to click on this and it will going to start our MSI installer. So it has rightly started downloading our Node.js and it has rightly downloaded. So once our download gets finished, just simply click on the installer. So welcome to Node.js setup. Just simply click on next. I will minimize my browser. So here I need to accept this license agreement, click on next. So this is where Node.js is going to be installed, click on next. All packages are rightly set, click on next. And here it is asking whether you would like to install Chocolatey, not required for now, just simply click on next. And ready to be installed, just simply click on install. And there you go, our Node.js installation has rightly begun. Before that it will ask you for administrative privileges, just simply click on yes and it has rightly started installing. So give some time to install, by that time I will going to install Visual Studio Code. So this is what you are going to need for you know uh, text editor. So Visual Studio Code just simply search in our Google and just simply click on this link to download our Visual Studio Code. So download it for Windows. Thanks for downloading and there you go. So you can see our Visual Studio is rightly downloaded over here. Let's go back to our Node.js install installation. So completed our Node.js, right? Just simply click on finish. So you know our Node.js is rightly installed. Let's install our Visual Studio code as well. I'll minimize my browser. So this is license agreement for Visual Studio code. Accept this. Click on next. This is where Visual Studio code is going to be installed. Click on next. Visual Studio Code folder they're going to create. Click on next. And here I'm going to you know check this create desktop icon so that it create a desktop icon. Also, I'm going to check this and this as well. Right. So I'm going to just simply click on next, ready to be installed. Click on install and there you go. Our installation has rightly begun. So by the time it gets installed, I'm going to open our command prompt. So CMD. Just simply open our command prompt and here if you just simply type node space dash dash version and just simply hit enter you can see that our node.js is rightly installed the latest version of node.js is rightly shown over here right so our node.js is rightly installed and you can see that our visual studio is also installed so you can just simply click on finish it will also going to launch our Visual Studio. You can close this for now. Okay, I'm going to show you that as well. So do watch the video till the end. Now it's time to install our Angular. So to install Angular, you need to type npm space install then dash g. Dash g basically the flag we are setting as global. So we are installing Angular globally. So at the rate Angular, Angular slash CLI. Right, just simply hit enter. So this npm what you can see for uh, to recognize that uh, command you will need node.js. So that's why you are installing node.js and angular CLI is basically the command line interface. So you can see it is fetching the files. So give some time you need to have active internet connection. So you can see our Angular is rightly downloaded. So let's check our latest version of Angular whether it's installed properly or not. So to check that you need to just simply type ngv then hit enter. And it's asking whether you'd like to send analytics. 
just simply Y it. And there you go. You can see our Angular CLI rightly prompted. So our latest version of Angular, which is Angular 15.1.2 is rightly shown. And our node version is also given over here. So our Angular project is rightly created over here. Now I'm going to show you how you can easily, you know, create a new Angular project. So let's create a new folder, naming it as Angular project, projects. Just simply go that folder and I'll just click on this address bar and type CMD and hit enter. So what it will do is it will going to open our, you know, uh, uh, command prompt right at this directory you can see. So to, in order to create a new project, you need to just simply type ng new and then you need to give your project name. I'm going to give hello angular, right. So ng new and then your project name hello angular, just simply, you know, hit enter and it's asking whether you need routing and all uh, for now you can just simply give n you don't need routing and what type of you know style sheet you need it is asking i'll keep it uh, css only and it's creating our angular project so again this will take some time you know about three to four minutes i would say or sometimes even more than that depends upon your internet speed right so after you know installing our uh, packages and all I'm going to come back to this video. So we'll come back and now you can clearly see that our project is rightly created. So here it is telling that, that uh, git is not recognized. So this is fine. Git basically gives you uh, open source interface where you can, you know, push your code and you can collaborate also with other developers. So that is fine for now. So here we are, you know, created this angular project. So let's, you know, uh, type CD hello dash angular and just simply hit enter to go inside our angular project which is hello angular and here if you just simply type uh, code dot then hit enter what it will do is it will going to open see uh, magically it opens our visual studio code and all uh, files and folders that are there on our angular is rightly shown over here so you can just simply click all this and uh, here if you just simply click on this package.json and here you can see that our latest version of uh, version of angular cli that is version 15.1.2 is rightly installed and also rightly shown over here so let's see how we can easily run our project so just simply go to you know terminal and open a new terminal and in order to run our project you need to just simply type ng then solve right simply hit enter on our terminal in visual studio code and it's going to ask you whether you'd like to, you know, send uh, data to uh, Google. Just simply yes it. And you can see it has rightly started bundling our project. Right. So that's one way launch our project by ng serve. So here you can see we have a start key rightly set it for ng serve. So all you need to do is just simply click on this triple arrow and you need to enable this npm scripts. So once you enable that, and just to expand this npm scripts you can see that we have this you know uh, start build watch test and everything directly here so obviously you can you know start our project by just simply typing ng serve also if you just simply click on this button so next time onwards you can easily start our project by just simply clicking on this button so we have set this key value pair over here for ng serve they start for ng build build and subsequently for test and all also set it so that is what npm script is shown over here right so you can see our project is rightly compiled so you need to just simply control click on this link and there you go you can see our angular app is rightly running over here right so in this you can easily install latest version of angular that is angular 15 on a windows operating system I have also shown you how you can install Visual Studio Code, Node.js and everything, how you can easily create Angular project. Also I have shown you these tricks, how you can easily clicking on this button, you can you know do all the subsequent tasks. So that's basically all about this video. If you face any difficulty, please do comment in your comment sections, I am always there to help you. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.